What do you ask the queen of fashion? Uh, does it have to be like a smart question? We gotta think of something good. I just caught you in Ocean's 8. Uh, you were very good. Are you going to do more films? Hello, Glenda. You look fantastic. I think the only way I would ever do another film is if you were in it with me. Hey, Anna. Rihanna just launched her line with LVMH. Can a pop star really be a designer? Well, obviously, if anyone can be successful at designing clothing, it's going to be Rihanna. So I am certain that that will be a huge success for LVMH. But there are other pop stars over the years that have had equal success. Look at Pharrell or Victoria Beckham or indeed Kanye West. When we look at Rihanna's collection, one might be surprised how simple it is. She's not looking to be the trend of the month. She's looking for clothes that have a life and that you can wear again and again, which is very much in step with, I think, the way that fashion is going right now with sustainability. And as always with Rihanna, she's completely in step with the moment. Hey Anna, wondering what your favorite shoe is and why? Manolo Blahnik and I like it. Anna, I have a question for you. I wonder uh, how you decide what you're going to wear in the morning. Well, I am have a wardrobe full of print dresses, so every morning I just go to one of my print dresses of choice and put it on. It makes decision making a lot easier. Hey Anna, what's the biggest misconception about fashion? I do think there is a misconception, as indeed sometimes there is about women, that because they love fashion, they might be frivolous, not someone to be taken seriously. What is so thrilling to me about working with Andrew Bolton at the Costume Institute of the Metropolitan Museum of Art is that he puts costume into an historical context that can show how important fashion is in terms of being a reflection of our culture because I feel that helps explain to people that there's so much more to fashion than maybe that's just they see on the surface. Hey Anna, since you're traveling all the time, do you have any tips to cure jet lag? Exercise, exercise, and exercise again, and drink lots of water. Hey Anna, what are your favorite handbags for spring? To be honest, I rarely wear a handbag, but I am told by my team here at Vogue that it's all about the crossbody handbag which makes a lot of sense to me because it's practical, hands-free. You can bicycle around Manhattan and enjoying Central Park, and they also come in every shape, size, fabrication, so that would be my tip for the season. Hey, Anna, is there a way to be casual in your dress but still be perceived as professional and put together? Personally, I'm not too big a fan of casual. I think I always prefer when someone errs on the side of dressed. There was a member of our team that turned up at the Met Gala recently without a tie and wearing a hat, and I'm not sure that I approved. Hi Anna, how do you feel about flip-flops outside of the nail salon? I love a flip-flop. Hey Anna, who do you think are the most inspiring people in the world today? Well, I've recently been very inspired by the Prime Minister of New Zealand. I think that she led her country through a terrible, terrible tragedy with enormous grace and a message of hope. And then I also have to cite Serena Williams, who to me has faced uh, defeat and triumph with equal grace and charm and humility and humor. I am also a big fan of Mayor Pete. I think it's wonderful that a young man from South Bend, Indiana, who speaks a hundred languages, was a military vet, went to both Oxford and to Harvard, and just happens to be gay, is part of the conversation in the democratic race. And I hope that, if not in my lifetime, in my children's lifetime, or my grandchildren's lifetime, that there will be a moment in politics when you are not defined by a label. You're just a good candidate. Thank you.